Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day is an update video about the workshop. Let's go! So you probably noticed that there's something different going on over here. So Percy has been sold. We miss you Percy, we miss you. But I've been to Nigel Barnett at French and Forge and I have purchased an Annie Yang ST 25 kilogram hammer. So it's a step up from where I was. I'm gonna call it Black Beauty. Mrs. Steves thinks we should call it Noir Python or Python Noir, but I think Black Beauty. Anyway, Nigel Barnett's on his way over. Um, he's gonna drop off the hammer today and then we're gonna wheel it into the workshop. Um, and I'm gonna do a video about the Annie Yang ST 25 kilogram power hammer. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna be famous now. We're gonna be on YouTube. You're gonna be on that, that YouTube, oh, Nigel dear. and Bruno. Oh dear, what are we gonna do? We charge for copyright, don't we? So Nigel, what's this called? An A-frame. Yeah. So Nigel's brought an A-frame, and he's uh, lifting a woman, and now you're gonna call Black Beauty onto the A-frame, and he's gonna drive the trailer out, and then uh, lower it down to the ground. That's the idea, and he's just going up now. So I just want to thank Bruno and Nigel for all of the hard work. It took us about two hours to get it in, but we've got the power hammer in. There it is. It's the Annie Yang ST. We're tired, so we're going to call it for a day here. But next time you see us on the video, it'll be the next day, and we'll talk through all of the power hammer, what we've got with it, all the dies, and how to power it up, all that sort of good stuff. What do you think, Mini Deebs? It's the Black Mamba. It's not the Black Mamba, it's Black Beauty. Lovely Ang Yang ST Hammer. Look at that beauty. Next time you see us will be tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Hi guys, okay, it's not the next day, it's about two weeks later, so we had Christmas and we had the lockdown in tier four in Norfolk, which is where we live. Um, so I've had the hammer now for approximately two weeks um, and I've had some fun. Um, let me talk you through the hammer before we go any further. So this is an Annie Yang ST hammer. Okay, so as I understand it, the ST branch um, is where two of the guys from Annie Yang FP left the organization and decided to go ahead and make the hammers themselves. So exactly the same design. Um, this is now a 25 kilogram version, whereas previously Sir Percy was a 15 kilogram and Black Beauty's a 25 kilogram. Um, as you can see, it stands a hell of a lot taller. Um, a lot taller than what it was previously. Um, some details here just tells you the model number, the date that it was uh, built, I guess or delivered in 2020, 25 kilogram. Hopefully you can see all of that. Um, an STH25. Very much the same hammer uh, as my 15 kilogram. Um, Nigel Barnett from French and Forge is where I purchased it from and I'll, I'll do a link down below. And I've just done some amendments to the hammer just to try and improve it. The first thing that we have here is the exhaust. Normally the exhaust comes uh, to the side. And I just put like a, <laughs> I, I laugh, like a car exhaust on it, but it's not a car exhaust, but it just sends the exhaust to the back of the hammer. Um, on the back of the hammer here, um, I'll just take a light down so you can see a little bit clearer. Um, Nigel actually has taken the motor on the back uh, and he supported it in this uh, Annie Yang ST, um, I don't know what you call it, a sort of shelf on the back of the hammer. And it allows you to store your toolbox, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, and like I say, you cut out the, uh, the ST logo, so that looks pretty cool. And it just gives you a nice place where you can put all of your tools, etc., that you're not using. Now, my hammer uh, originally is a three phase, but I just changed it to single phase for me. So we've changed the motor on the back. Uh, and people were wondering, you know, would this still work okay with a single phase motor? Absolutely. So I'll show you in a moment what I forged out using the hammer so far, and it's absolutely perfect. Um, we bolted it to the ground. There's six bolts, one, two, third one under here, and then repeats on the other side. Um, the ram um, is a lot bigger, so that's probably a good three, if not four inches uh, across to the set of square dies that you get with a hammer. Um, because it's so new, when it first powers up, you can see it's a little bit struggling because this, this ram is so, so, so new. Um, I had to amend the treadle pedal on the side here, um, just because of the height of the pedal on the on the floor down here. Because so I want to make sure that when I push my foot all the way down, that it actually comes all the way down uh, on the side here. So I just want to show you the side bit, if I can get it in the light correctly. Um, what you've got here, you've got a, a press 
a return, then a light all the way to heavy hitting. And what you can do is pull this lever down and put it up to press and then the ram will lower and it'll hold onto whatever you've got inside of there, which is which is quite a nice design. Electric wise, um, exactly the same. So you've got an emergency switch, it goes to a little junction box and goes to my 16 amp switch on the side here on the wall. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, that's the Annie Yang. Um, one thing I do have to do differently to my old hammer is I have to pump the oil just to get it started in here because there's, there's meant to be oil flowing up here which then lubricates the ram. Um, so you have to pump it a little bit, especially when it's cold. So I've been out here um, in the last few days and it's been like minus two, minus three and obviously the oil, um, the cos viscosity, I think is the right word, is very thick. So until the hammer's warmed up, it wasn't getting the oil. So you have to pump it initially just to get it going. And then once it's going in, it drips sort of once every two or three seconds and it keeps the ram lubricated. Um, price wise, really, really good price. I won't quote the prices because you can get them off of Nigel's website, which I'll, uh, I'll link down below. Overall, fantastic hammer. So let me show you what um, you get in the toolbox. So Nigel provides a little toolbox for you. Um, inside of the toolbox, uh, you actually get uh, a little grease gun. Um, there we go, for greasing up the various components of the hammer. Uh, so sort of grease gun. You get the operating instruction manual. So I haven't opened that yet. There you go. So um, the People's Republic of China Anyang Shengtong. So that's ST forging machinery. Um, I got two sets of dies. So I've got the square dies on the hammer at the moment. Um, they work brilliantly. Uh, I've also got some fullering or rounding dies as well. Um, they're quite aggressive though. So I've decided not to use those just at the moment. Uh, and then you get some more components here which are used for um, the stuffing box in case the stuffing box ever goes, but it's very unlikely that will go, but they do include that. So that's your little toolbox. That lives on the back of the hammer as I just showed you. Um, so what have I been forging? Let me show you. So what I've been forging, um, I've been trying to, uh, first of all, I'm making these knives for uh, a friend of mine at Martial Arts. These are for you, Martin, so they're, they're coming your way. They haven't finished yet, but they're on the way. Um, this piece of steel here, which is Damascus, it's about 48 layers. Um, of Damascus. Um, it's 15 in 20 and EM42. Um, now this bar, when it first started, it was probably a good inch in height, maybe a little bit higher in height, inch and a half. Um, what I did was I forged it out uh, on the hammer um, and then I cut it almost all the way through and then folded it back onto itself and then reforged it out. Um, when, I, when I had it, it was, must have been three inches in height um, running it through the Anyang hammer for about, um, I did it for about an hour um, with the squaring dies, not the rounding dies, which would have done it a lot quicker. And then it, it um, squared it up, made it lovely and straight. Very, very happy with that. Uh, got to do some more work on that today. So overall, that's the Anyang ST hammer. Um, Nigel now sells them, French and Forge sells them. He's got the 15, the 25, so I think it's a 40, 75, and 100 kgs. Um, they base out here in Norfolk, just down the road from myself. Um, so if you want a hammer, go to Nigel, go and pick one up. Um, he organised it, he delivered it for me, which you saw at the beginning of the of the, um, the process of the, of the video. He delivered it for me, you saw at the beginning of the video. I sold my hammer to uh, to Clements Lions. Hopefully, Sir Percy's gone to a good home and yeah, you're using it well there, so wish you luck. And this is now Black Beauty. This is now the new hammer. Uh, not Black Mamba, as, as Mini Dudes likes to call it. Anyway, that's the uh, Annie Yang ST hammer. Hope you found it useful. Any questions or queries, let me know. Um, I can send you details, where to get it, how much it weighs, how you can move it around, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching Debris Day. See you next week. Take care. Bye.